Please are forever. Hi everyone, I'm Melissa and today we have two thread up boxes of jewelry to unpackage. These are the DIY boxes, each are five pounds. And last night I got a few messages from subscribers, thank you so much, saying that thread up had more boxes. So this is something that I thought maybe they would be finished with, but they are trying to put out more rescue boxes. They did bump up the price and they no longer have free shipping codes. So you are paying about five to seven more dollars. But if you had your eye on these, you might have snagged some last night. Thread Up did have a limit of two, which they did not put on their website. So for people like me that wanted more than two and paid for more than two, Thread Up, you dropped the ball. They did refund me after the fact though. So there is a limit of two at this point, but that's okay. I understand wanting to allow other people to get them. I still have a bunch of boxes. So opened it up. I'm going to flip you down slightly and let's get into it. The first item I'm pulling out is Kate Spade. So nice. Kate Spade, New York. For the fun of it, it says inside, and then it says play hooky. Oh my goodness, that's so funny. I do still have this pyramid thing. I decided to keep it, it was $20. Probably should not have kept it, but I lost the box and then I was like, well, I've used it a few times. I felt bad sending it back. So that's the first item. I should be able to get, I would think $20 for this. So this will pay for more than half the box. It, oh, oh. I consider myself to have a very large um, fist. I have this here and this is gonna be really hard to measure now that I'm thinking about it. My fist is about eight and a quarter, I would say. My wrist isn't particularly large, but my fist and my hands are. So that's nice that that fits over, over my hand. Very nice, I will be keeping that. The next item, these real shells, they are real shells. Oh, so pretty. <laughs> I think I should make this into a headband. Perhaps it's supposed to be a headband or a choker. Okay, but seriously, how pretty is that? I wasn't going to keep it, but now I think I have to. Or maybe I'll send it to my niece. She gets all of the things that I love, but I don't want to keep for myself. Really pretty. I'm going to put that in the keep side. I did go through my eBay store and took off a lot of the lower priced jewelry and I'm putting it in a box. The last box was 30 or 31 pounds and brought just under $100 on an eBay auction. So I'm going to do the same thing. This one actually doesn't have too many broken pieces. They just have pieces that I wasn't able to sell. For instance, this. So I'm going to keep that next to me and things like this, like lightweight bangles, I'm going to throw in that box. This is brand new. This is a good box so far. Brand new and tangled. We can do this. There we go. Natasha, I have sold this exact necklace in a different colorway. This one is like a turquoise and coral with a shiny gold seed bead. Very long, excellent condition. Nothing's broken. Nice. I might get $10 out of that. I'll try that for sale. I'm going to leave the earrings for the end. I'm realizing there's something in my shot. Oh, the box. There we go. Nicer shot now. This is a new bracelet, $4.80. I would have thought it would have been more expensive, but there's there's a sticker on it. So maybe Forever 21? I don't know. Silver tone, kind of hammered look. We'll put that in the junk box. A few more little bangles. This one is intertwined. My mom is visiting from Pennsylvania and she went out to the island, to Anna Maria Island today. 
she looked all beachy and fun. She was going to look for some Lily Pulitzer t-shirts to see if they were on sale. This one's really pretty. I like the color. For right now, I'll keep it in the keep pile uh, to see if I can lot it up with something. We'll see. This one is very tangly and doesn't seem to be of any kind of worth, kind of a reddish translucent red. This one is black, I'm gonna say. Gradu gradu graduated, gradu what are these called when they go from small to bigger to bigger? I forget. Oh, also, on Amazon, I found this starter pack of cardstock, and it has just about every color from black to gray to brown and like a neutral tan color to all the neons and brights. When I'm photographing, I'm going to, I took, I took this off of HSN, they put different backgrounds. So for instance, this might look really pretty against purple in a photograph. So I'm going to try to do that method. I still have my dress form, but it's a little bit harder for me to stand up and take photos. So I've been trying to find some nice backgrounds for a flat lay. So that's my new trick. I also picked up this hand, which has a very tiny wrist, but you can put things in her fingers. She could like grasp them. And I picked up I thought this was so much bigger. In the picture, this looked giant. They had like a necklace around it and the necklace, I mean, seriously, the necklace was like this and I was like, oh, cool. I should have looked at the measurements. But in reality, it's, it's like this. <laughs> but I still love her and she has pierced ears. So this will be great for earrings or just to show maybe against a white background. It might look nice. Hysterical. So those are all of my, my little pieces for taking photographs. This is a stretch bracelet. It's pretty, it has rhinestones. The stretch is stretched out. I'm sure somebody else could repurpose this. We'll put that in my box. A wooden bangle, nothing special. Cute little guy though. More earrings, lots of earrings. Ooh, I bet you these are free people or anthropology. This is heavy. Bonded leather made in China. I can't believe how heavy this is. <laughs> it's a snap buckle bracelet. Snap buckle? Maybe just snap cuff. Maybe that's the word I was going for. With studs. I think I'm going to try to sell this. Bonded leather. So that's real leather, right? The leather's in really good shape. The studs all appear to be nice. The chain is like bulky. It's real metal. I like it. Motorcycle. Another stretched out bangle. Not bangle, bracelet. I guess it's just stretched out bracelet. There's been a few pieces I've been doing really well with, so that kind of encouraged me to at least for right now, focus on the pieces that'll probably bring more than $5. Spare lightweight wooden, kind of has like a mid-century vibe to it. But again, I'm gonna put it in my, my junk pile. Love this, who makes this? What does that say? Okay, it says charming. It doesn't say Charlie. S-I-S-I-S-I. -S -I, -S -I. I can't possibly be what that says. Seaside? I don't know. It doesn't feel particularly like a quality sterling piece. I like it. I think I'm going to, to put it in the box. Definitely says charming. Sizers, maybe? I don't know. Some more earrings. This reminds me of my sister. I wonder if she wants a bracelet. It's not marked, but it's very prettily done. It has some embossing. And the metal appears to be like broken in a little bit. The, the border is 
more of a muted gold tone and then a silver tone distressed. I like this piece. Oh, I like this too. Gold tone, open cuff. It does have a lot of wear. It has like little knots on the side. Oh wait, oh wait. <laughs> Can you see them now? I was gonna put it against a piece of paper. Let's get a white sheet of paper. I have to open my pack of paper. I forget how much I paid for this. Oh, there's like some confetti paper. Now you can see it. I'm gonna put it in the junk thing. Another bangle. Very odd. I think it's missing a piece on the end because this part has a loop and then this part has nothing and it's kind of Me trying to figure this out. Yeah, I think it's missing something at the end. We'll put that in the box. A stretch bracelet, pretty. I might keep this for my niece. A lot of bracelets in this one. This one's a very lightweight. The stretch is good. It has lightweight, um, I guess these are all wood. Maybe not. Lots of earrings on cards. Lots and lots of earrings. Oh my goodness, this is so fun. Oh, these are the magnetic ones. Somebody told me what this was just a few days ago and I didn't pronounce it out loud, but I read it. Hemolite, maybe? It looks like eyeballs. <laughs> let's, let's get the paper. Ooh, paper. You're not gonna be able to see that. I put my ring light up high. It's fairly sunny. And honestly, if I could get it like that, <laughs> that looks very, very much like it's gonna follow my head. But love these. I'm totally keeping these. These are so cool. More earrings. Lots and lots of earrings. My husband went to Pennsylvania. Him and my mom swapped cars and they flew the same plane. He went to Pennsylvania, deplaned, and then my mom got on that plane and flew out here to stay with me. So I just got a phone call from him. He's visiting friends. I'm so glad he went. He was really unsure just for a whole bunch of reasons. I'm going to put this one in the junk and the junk thing, but I'm really glad he went. I think I've had this. Oh, here's another one of those um, twisted bangles. This one doesn't have any loops. It's the same kind of coppery hammered metal, metal-ish look. But it was nice to hear from him. We've, we've been missing each other um, because he's in such a rural area. The cell phone reception isn't very good even still in 2020. This looks like it'll be marked. It is sterling silver, Italy. It's something else on it too. Uh, number, hold on, I have a magnification glass. I used this today. This was a brilliant idea that you all suggested. Thank you so much. Oh, I've got it zoomed way in. The number is, oh, it's loading an ad. Okay, we don't need you, ad. I might not be able to see that. There's a number. Yeah, I'll look it up later. It's a twisted chain, maybe 16 inches, I would say with a sterling silver charm. What's the charm say? Oh, it's a money bag. Interesting. It's like a little weighted, let's just keep this up here, money bag. Can you see it now? Probably not, I think that made it worse. So that's a keeper, sterling. We have a bunch of little stretch bracelets. I wonder, how much jewelry is too much jewelry to send my 11 year old niece? I sent her monthly care packages and she just got um, Junes. But she must have so many stretch bracelets at this point. I'll throw those in the, the junk thing. I also sent her Russian nesting dolls. 
because there's somebody on YouTube who's rather famous called Mariah who painted some and I know she follows her. And so like the day after on Amazon, um, the day after Mariah painted it and the video was put out, I sent her some. So she was pretty excited about this. This is very, very intertwined. I'm looking for a clasp because this part feels really nice, this, this bar part. Here's the clasp. I don't see anything. I thought maybe it would be like free people. It has um, a weighty bar, but I don't see any markings. So I think both of those are gonna go in the junk pile. So my husband is flying home tomorrow. Just, my mom flies back to Pennsylvania and then he gets on that plane and flies back. So they'll see each, again, each other again at the airport in Harrisburg. I like this. I don't know what this is. It's really cool. It's just a black cord. It appears maybe like it was hand done. It's very reflective without being a mirror. It looks like a piece of slate maybe, but the welding on the back appears to be hand, hand welded. I like it. I like it a lot. It has a very um, organic look to it. I think those are earrings. A lot of earrings. A ring. I brought my ring sizer, I think. This one is kind of a climbing fern in a size eight and three quarters. Ooh, eight and three quarters. I do okay with rings. This one um, is very large, but you could bend your hand, which is nice. Always good to bend your hand. We'll see. We'll put this in the maybe pile. A very lightweight choker that says icing. It's very tiny. It has a little clear marble. So we'll put that in the box. So far, the box is pretty much full. This is a regional rate box B. I have to see what would be cheaper, a flat rate or the regional. This is a hair tie. <laughs> It's my color. Do I keep it? I have like 4,000 of these hair ties. That's so funny. Somebody just put a hair tie. And yes, I'm, I'm putting it in my hair. Okay. I must have had this in every single color. This bracelet. I've definitely had it in blue, in pink, in black, in coral. Um, it must be a fairly popular style. That's so funny. I'm gonna put that in the box too. Oh, love this. What is this? It has a little pink crown. It looks to be a nice metal, a very shiny gold tone, possibly real leather, like a pebbled leather intertwined, maybe a choker. The pink crown is probably the maker's mark. I'm going to do some investigating. Yeah, yeah, I like that. We'll keep that over here for now. I love this so much. This looks like, like Joan Rivers, but I don't think it's marked. It is a pin. Is this a B? Oh. Okay, if you don't like bugs, don't look. What color would you look good on? I think just white. Let's, let's do this. Can, can you do this? I don't think the paper helped at all. It's a faux turquoise uh, with some green enamel eyes and white enamel wings and midsection. He's probably about an inch and three quarters. Love him. Yes, we say yes to this guy. Oh, another pretty. A lot of pretty bracelets. This one doesn't appear to be marked. It is, um, there's a seam. So the metal was wrapped rather than being one piece. I mean, it is one piece that's wrapped, but it's molded, I guess. It's embossed. It's another piece I think my sister would like. My sister probably doesn't have any need for a ton of bracelets. Maybe. 
Also, I just spilled um, water all over the place before I sat down. I probably have it on film. So if my hands are wet, that's why. This always reminds me of the early 2000s, this kind of like invisible cording, invisible wire. Is it marked? No. It has a place where it could be marked. I think these are freshwater pearls. There's one pearl that connects it. I guess that's the middle of it. I like it. I think I'm gonna save it for now. I could see somebody really liking this. Sometimes this invisible wire gets kinked and it doesn't recover, but I don't see any kinks as of right now. Nice. Shiny. Ooh, there's lots of them. Maybe that's it. Maybe, oh, I see a Tiffany piece in there. These are gorgeous. These remind me of vintage ornaments almost. Maybe that light is doing us an injustice. I'm so sorry about the lighting. It is what it is. It's like a copper that's giving off blues and greens. Oh, those are so pretty. Okay, let's take out the piece that says Tiffany. This is too lightweight for Tiffany. I've had real Tiffany. Also, there's a, a twist tie holding it together. This is a fake Tiffany piece. I'm shocked ThreadUp actually sent this, but again, it's it's a DIY box. This is, if this was real sterling, it would be much heavier. This, this feels like plastic. And, and it has a ton of jagged edges. Tiffany would never have that kind of quality. So fake pieces are not allowed to be sell, sold. It's illegal to sell them in the US. Possibly is illegal worldwide, I don't know. And usually this type of thing um, with the actual Tiffany, it's not like, it doesn't say something else and is in the vein of Tiffany. It actually says Tiffany, but it's not. Uh, you can get in big trouble for selling fakes. The FBI, I mean, if you're selling them big time, if the, if the FBI catches on or something. So this will be put in the box. Maybe somebody could use it for something else. I, I even hesitate to do that. I don't know. I'm going to put in the box. This is marked Sterling and India, and there's a maker's mark on it. It's very pretty. Love all of the stones. Oh, that center stone. Okay, some of these stones are gorgeous. It has five stone links in shades. Uh, this one, this top one's like a clear periwinkle green kind of a clear with little pieces of grass, I don't know, blue, and then um, an iridescent one. Love that. Let's put this against the purple. That should look really pretty on a purple background. Maybe. Maybe I'm just throwing off the whole color of the video by doing that. Yeah, this is a keeper. I'm going to, after that fake Tiffany, um, I'm going to wipe my hands on a lace all wipe. So one of our neighbors who we know well, my husband and I, my husband goes over there and helps once in a while with some things. He's kind of the neighborhood handyman in a way. Um, we knew she would be selling her house. I think she might be moving to Ecuador. She's very adventurous. She has a kayak. Her life is very cool. She recently retired. So she's selling her house. So my mom and I walked outside today, my mom went to Anna Maria. So just to give her directions again and show her how to use everything in the car. Um, we saw the open house sign being put down and I was like, this lady was there. And I was like, hey, are you selling your house? She's like, actually I've accepted a bid, which is awesome. The community has 76 houses. I love this by the way. And they don't come up for auction very, for sale. Um, very often people that live here kind of love living here and a lot of people use it as their second home so there's not even a lot of people that are here full-time I'm gonna keep this this is really nicely done the beads feel very heavy and hefty very pretty I, I this is like one of those pieces you could probably use as a bracelet or um, as a necklace I'll try it as a, a bracelet next 
So she accepted a bid, but the open house was already scheduled. So my mom and I are gonna go walk through. I've been in her house a few times, maybe more than a few times, but um, we're gonna walk through. My mom's always interested in, in having like a second house maybe, or like doing rental properties. My mom is just like amazing in lots of areas. If you know my mom, you know that. So we're gonna walk through, the open house goes through four. I don't know what time it is now. We walked out, it was like 11, and the open house started at one, and she's like, oh, we're not open till one. I'm like, should we wait? My mom's like, it's 11. <laughs> Oops, it's 12.30 now, it's not even one o'clock. So we're gonna do that together. When she gets back, we've been having a really good time and talking a lot of eBay and YouTube. This has a slight marking. It looks like a V in a fingerprint, like a, a fingerprint. <laughs> Didn't need to explain that any further. Definitely has a marking. I think it's just a B, it's so faint. Why would you mark that so faintly? You don't want anybody to know you're marking. Trying to take a picture. Also, my cuticles are horrible under that light. I don't know. It's a hinged bangle in a gold tone. It has some rub wear, and where it has the rub wear, it's showing through that it's a silver tone. It's too lightweight, I think, to be sterling. And there's pave um, rhinestones. Maybe it's an A. Could it be Anne Klein? I don't think so. Maybe I'll ask my mom about that. Maybe we'll see how good her eyes are. <laughs> Another necklace, pretty, but nothing I think that would bring all of that much. So we'll put that in the box. This has the same kind of little clasp. Well, I wonder if there's more than one of those that would be helpful. No markings on this one. It has rhinestones kind of woven into kind of a gray yarn, but nothing on it. So we'll toss that aside. Stretch out my feet here and try not to move this ring light. Very lightweight brass bangle. I have two bangles, I think that, that are about the same tone of brass, so I'm gonna save that and I'll include that like as a bonus. This is a braided faux leather in gray. We will put that in the box. Ooh, Kate Spade watch. Live colorfully. The face is in really good shape. Ooh, it has a very slight scratch. I'm still going to, oh, there's another one over there. I'm gonna rate the face like an eight out of 10. If you look very close, there's some faint little marks. Let's see how this opens. We went to the pool yesterday, my mom and I, just for a little bit before it rained. Is that it? Is that how that opens? <laughs> my wrist is just too big for all of these watches. I thought it like clicked open a second time, but I don't think so. I think that's it. How did I do that now? Why wouldn't that open both ways? One. Two, ah ha ha. Okay, that makes more sense. So how do I put this back together now? I'm so bad with watches. One, two, okay. It's, it's too tight on me, but just. So I'm gonna say this is probably for about a six inch or less. I'll do some actual measuring. It has a little bit of marking on the back of the band where that kind of like clicks into place. You would never see that when it's being worn. The rest of the band, I'm gonna call it like an eight out of 10 overall, maybe even a seven and a half. 
I tend to rate a little bit lower. So I, I will keep that. Let's grab another bangle. This one has some teas. This will be sent to my niece because her name starts with a T. And I like that idea. I wonder if it'll be too big for her. She's growing. Oh my gosh, she's so tall. She's almost as tall as my sister which my sister's not like ridiculously tall. I'm the tallest out of my mom's sister and um, that's it. Me, my mom and sister, my sister, my mom and I. I like this. There's no markings on it that I see. It's brass with some distressing, faux turquoise. I like the chunky cross. I like everything about that. It looks like a pendant maybe. You could clip that onto a necklace or something else. Ooh, it's a very lightweight earring. Okay. We have another tea. I don't think you should like that one too. This one looks the same as the other one, but different colorway. I should put, yeah, I'll just put them over there. Cool. This one is not marked, it's a necklace. I like the geometricness of it. It has like a 3D look. It's, it's vaguely 3D. And this part has like a leopard stone, leopard print. Yeah, I like this. I'll try this. We'll give it a go. Do you want to see it against purple? Ooh, that's how it would look on purple. It actually look really pretty on red too. Ooh, hot pink, let's do hot pink. Ooh, hot pink. <laughs> it like makes the whole screen hot pink. We'll keep that. A kitty cat brooch. Okay, that'll be sent to somebody. It's a little cat pin. I have a lot of Patreon members that like cats. It has a very, um, like a Laurel Birch look to it, if you know that designer. It has no markings, but I like it. You're a keeper. It's another rhinestone stretch bracelet. Did we save that one? We did. Okay, so these will be for my niece. The ring is a maybe. This is a maybe, this is a maybe. Okay, so far so good. I'm really thrilled with this box. Ooh. Somebody made this. I can easily tell that the wire is just like all wrapped. Um, this looks like it could be, nope, fake pearls, but um, it has a very sculptural element to it, which is very cool if you like to fidget. That's going in the box. So many earrings. Ooh, love this. I wonder if this is a maker. Should I say what maker I think this is? Can't be. Van Cleef. I, I highly doubt it's Van Cleef. I highly doubt you even pronounce it that way. It is missing. It's very long. It's missing a clasp, which I'm sure I could fix, but there's no maker's mark. It has that um, bubble for petal flower thing happening, and they're all reversible white to black with some rhinestones, but again, it's missing the clasps. So that'll be put in the box. This is Juke and Nona. This was from a subscription box a few years ago. Are there two of them here? Yeah, I think there's two of them. One says happy and one has blue. Um, I know that these bring very little so I'm sure it wouldn't be that hard to, they're kind of untangling even as I just literally do almost nothing, but I'm gonna throw those in the box. These delicate necklaces retail for a whole lot, like $70, seriously, but they don't sell for, for I think I've sold them even new on the, the tag, but now I've untangled them. So I think I have to send them to my niece. <laughs> okay, those will be sent to my niece. Um, they don't retail for, they retail for a whole bunch. This looks promising. 
but they don't bring a lot resell wise. You know what I mean. I'm on to the next piece in my head. My brain's like, ooh, what's that next shiny thing? This is a costume piece, as must, most of this is. Really pretty. Three strand, um, that kind of invisible, not wire, but it's a flexible, invisible wire with gray faux pearls and rhinestone pave balls. We'll put that in the box. It's a little choker. Icing, another icing choker. I think I've sold this or I pulled this to put in this box. There might be another one of these in this box. It has that kind of off yellowy mustard kind of look. And this part always feels, even the other one, I don't know what they do to make it feel kind of matte. It's not like a shiny slippery metal and I don't like the feel of that. Where is my thing? Here we go. We are getting down to the bottom. I like this. This reminds me of Nobu, is it? It's not marked though. I did recognize the marking on one of those. This is an adjustable faux turquoise um, on a brown cord with one silver tone distressed ball. I'm sure this means something. I don't know what it means. It means I don't want it. That's what it means to me. My stomach is growling. Stomach, come on now. You had ramen noodles just a few, few hours ago. We have a very tiny cross. It was in its, its bag by itself, so I'm assuming it's marked. It is, oh my goodness, that's a tiny marking. It's probably sterling. This is such a tiny marking. Oh, that's my husband. Let's see what he has to say. That's Voxer. We use Voxer. That's it. One second. Hey, cutie pie, you just Voxered me a one second Voxer with nothing. I love you. Okay, back to this. Set that down so I don't have to see my cuticles. Oh, another one. I'm sorry, I'm not <laughs> We figured. <laughs> I'm just gonna like that so he sees that I liked it and we don't have to keep going back and forth. Okay. I don't know if this is gonna zoom in. But it's such a tiny marking. Oh, there we go. Take a picture quick. It's 925. Okay, so it is sterling. Very delicate. I'm guessing this is probably a 16, 17, 18 inch. Maybe even a 14. You know what? Why would I guess? I have a tape measure here. So you can set it to three lengths. It is 15 and a half, 16 and a half, 17 and a half. So I'm gonna put that back in there. This might only bring five, six, seven dollars, but somebody will appreciate this and it is sterling. So nice and lightweight. I'm going to give myself a little break. Ah, we should keep going. We should keep going. Okay, here's another one of these wooden stretch bracelets. I think I might be this feels like sterling too. This has a knot that'll be easy enough to get out though. We might be up to the earrings section and I'm seeing some really beautiful earrings. This is marked icing. Oh, okay, definitely not sterling then. I like the look of it. You go in the box. Let's see. There are a lot of earrings in this box. Thread up. I, I'm thrilled. I forgive you for canceling 18 of my boxes after I sat there and individually purchased and paid for 20 something boxes. I forgive you. You still should have put on your site that there was a limit and limited it. Okay. 
wet seal. Usually I lot earrings together and I do pretty well with them. It's usually worth the time and energy. These are very twisted though. Why are you so twisted? <laughs> Can't possibly be worn this way. Oh, found it. So $7 retail, they are longer, I would say probably three and a half with some clear rhinestones, faux pearls. The metal really could go either way. It's kind of that cross between, I would, I would call it silver-ish. So we will save those. Body Central, oh my goodness, look how long these are. I almost want to put them in my ear, but I know my hole is just, I have, I have holes, but one is completely closed and the other has almost always closed. I've pierced my ears so many times over the probably 15 years. I stopped doing it a long time ago because I think my sister has the same thing. As soon as I take the earring out, I would spin it. I would keep it in for weeks at a time. I would do all of the things. It would never heal open. It would immediately shut. Okay, I love this. Look at these. This is the most fun person ever. Let's be friends. These are feathers. They're so lightweight, they're blowing in the air conditioning. Okay. Then we have some pink. These look almost handmade. Maybe they are handmade. Discs with some wrapped wire. about these I think I'm gonna put those in the box this is either faux either faux leather or real leather imagine that um, little studs playing cards rhinestones kind of a B that Aurora Borealis thing happening sometimes free people does this um, I'm pushing on the backs this faux real leather thing and sometimes anthropology does sometimes other people do so i don't know it does appear to be missing i'm gonna say possibly one or two pairs but that's a paper for sure then we have these somebody linked them together thank you i don't see any markings but they do have a nice feel to them they feel like a Nicer than like a Forever 21. I would say like a Macy's kind of textured hoop. It's a thicker hoop, but it has a texture to it. I like those. This just appears to be one bangle. Fashion jewelry made in China. These are very lightweight. If you want the, a bold look, also not for children 13 years of age or younger. If you're 14, you're fine. Maybe somebody could buy these for a 14th birthday. But they're very lightweight, so maybe I'll just put all of the earrings back in this. I should have brought bags. I'll put the earrings back in this bag for now. There we are. Then we have Carol for Eva Graham. I don't know either one of those people. I've had these kind of string art earrings before. We will group those. We'll do like a small stud grouping and then like more dramatic. These are really pretty too. They have a yellow and white rhinestone. They are missing one bead. I don't know if that would be that big of a deal. Nope, they're missing two beads, I take that back. So we're going to put those in the box. <laughs> I love everything. <laughs> These feel vintage. Wait till you see them. Why don't I show them to you? Okay. Can you see them? Do you want to see them on purple? Oh, nope. Let's just show them on purple. Let's keep going. They have a very sculptural element to them. The giant rhinestone and like a 3D quality to them. This this is not showing very well on, on camera. Gold tone, very shiny. I love them. I love them so much. Then we have these buttons. 
pierced kind of floral look buttons. Another vintage pair. These look like they're straight out of the 80s. No markings. They have like a, a brown water marble thing happening in the middle of them. And then a thicker kind of braiding. Not braiding, kind of just a bubble effect in gold. Love those. We have some more hoops. These feel like bamboo. They have that um, bamboo thing happening. I know Lily Pulitzer did bamboo there for a while. These have no markings. They're a gold tone, probably inch and a half. These are a lighter, kind of green turquoise, faux turquoise, of course. I always say faux turquoise. Um, yeah, all the beads seem to be there. So there's a circle and then like a half moon and then some dangles. Pretty. Love these two. They have a distressed silver tone, almost like a denim, but silver, like an acid wash with some clear rhinestones. We'll keep those. <laughs> These are marked SG in script. I don't know what SG means. And they appear to be vintage. And I definitely don't know what that is. Let's go back on there. Are they calories? Let's see if I can get these close enough. Let's get the white paper back. They're black. SG, let's look up really quickly, vintage SG earrings. Vintage SG. I was wondering if that was my mom's beep, but I don't think so. SG earrings, SG signed earrings. Oh, there's a bunch of them. Does anybody say what SG means? Let's see what they're going for. Doesn't matter what they're listed for. We have to see what they're, they've sold for. 25, these are aliens though. Aliens have their own appeal. Oh, here's a very similar pair, 25. That's it. <laughs> okay, out of all of those, only one have sold, but I like them enough that for sure I'll be listing them by themselves. Okay. Then we have some metal and pink faux leather molded hearts. I've never seen anything like that before. These are very like if you're going to an 80s party, wear them with your acid wash kind of popped collar with the, the heart key picture for all of us that are going to parties. I think this is just a charm. This is marked Sterling Thailand. Oh, wasn't expecting that. It's a cross, it's a bright blue, and then on every point of the cross, there's a different color. Like a light purple, dark purple, lime green, and red. It's probably real stone, so that's definitely a keeper. I'll put it in this bag for now, just so I don't lose it. We have one little pendant, pendant? Nope, charm. Charm is the word I was looking for. I'm guessing this is real sterling because why else would somebody keep this? It's gonna be really hard to see the center of this. So unless this is marked on the outside, I might have to take this to the jewelry shop slash pawn shop to get this checked. So tiny. I love these. I love these so much. These look like opals. I'm sure they're faux. Oh no! These might be real opals. These are marked um, sterling. They have, they're white teardrops and they have four teardrops. And they are very, that milky white. Is it five? Five teardrops on each. And they, they give off those flecks of color. Love that. They're giving off like pinks and greens and blues. Very 
very iridescent. Oh, I'm putting them up here. I've distracted myself. I have to wipe my nose again. Next we have starfish. Can I say that about everything? Oh, I would have thought these would have been sterling. They are not marked. They're really well done. They're faux turquoise with rhinestones, and they they have a little bit of a height to them, a 3D-ness to them, and the rhinestones go the entire way around. Do we have a set? We do. Sometimes stuff like this, this is fairly unique. I can look up faux turquoise, rhinestone, starfish earrings and I might be able to find a similar pair that that are new. I usually go high to low when I look stuff up like this and then I'll find the maker's mark. I recognize this and I only have one of these I think. This is bobble bar. I've sold these before. Oh, Yes, this is bobble bar. So it's a faux pearl with a black tassel. And that's a shame I only have one. I'll keep this to the side because I think my mom would have liked that and she's here. Here's another one of those tube charm beads. Oh, and here's another one. This one's hinged, thank you. And it is marked. That doesn't mean the other ones are sterling if this one is, I'm assuming this one is. I really have to get some medicine in me. I don't know what that marking reads. Let's see if I can pull this up. Nope, that's a blurry picture. That also is a blurry picture. This is definitely marked. I'll have to take a better picture. It's like a little donut tube bead. Oh, oh, we have another one of those cross. Oh, these are earrings then. I thought it was, I don't know what I thought it was. It's definitely an earring because it matches the other one. This is the faux turquoise, maybe real turquoise. I highly doubt it. Then we have vintage swan earrings in a vintage button. Somebody saved these in a vintage button. I love this person. This person and me are soul animals, soul humans. <laughs> their costume, but I love them. Look at that. Uh, you're not gonna be able to see any of these. Pretend they're swans. They have little gemstones in them with black eyes. Anthropology could come out with these like tomorrow and I would be so over it. Over it meaning I want them, not over it meaning I'm over it. We have string, string earrings. They make a little bit of a tinkling sound. Then we have these. These look like they might be sterling. Maybe not. I wonder if I have another one of these. Is, it, is this the same one? You are the same one. And you're all there. I'll have to look at this in a different light. These might not be sterling, but they look like they would be. Faux turquoise and a silver tone at least. Kind of a Southwest vibe. Okay. Oh, oh, I wonder if my mom would like these. These have fringe on them. These are, are these sugar fix? What are these? Okay. These are, no idea what this is. It is sugar fix. So this is bobble bar for Target. This is the bobble bar line for Target called Sugar Fix. I'll save this for her. Then we have, this looks like a Michael Kors color. A very rose gold shiny hoop. I don't think they're marked though. I don't think they're marked. Rose gold hoop earrings. I have kind of like a tube hoop to them. So I'll definitely save those. I'm trying to find the big ones. Next, I've found these before and they were Michael Kors. 
not this exact one, but these very thin, very lightweight hoops. It's very hard to find the Michael Kors thing, so I'm gonna guess that these aren't. So I'm gonna, I guess I could put these in the bag and sell them as a lot. Oh, here's another one. It's just a, a piece of wire in a kind of a square shape. I'm not sure, I guess I'd have to go down. So there are those. We have a matching set of hoops. These are rather nice. They have a little bit of a heft to them. They are marked. They have a little rhinestone and they are marked with something. Is that a Z? Is that a, I have no idea. Let's go back to my magnifying glass. A stamp of some kind. An N? Z? I don't know. There, there's something. <laughs> there's something. Then we have one. Oh, that's a shame because I like that. Yep, just one. Like little metal disc. Unless this is sterling. Um, this is going to go in the thing. If it was sterling, I would just put it in the sterling bag and probably the weight of it might bring a little bit. Oh, it is marked. You are 925 silver. Hmm. Okay. Well, we'll save that one and put it in my sterling bag for the pawn shop. This isn't an earring because it has one of those little lever back I don't know if that that's what that's called. Um, tassel things, lever back clasps maybe? It's not marked. I have no idea what you would do with that. A phone charm? I don't know. That's going in there. Next, we have earrings in a baggie. Can you believe how many good things I got on this one? Ooh. Oh, this looks like real pearls. Yes, I'm going to say these are real pearls. Very shiny silver. They're a freshwater pearl. So they have like two little bars. One's a lot longer with the three and then one with the one. No markings, but somebody kept them in a bag. So we'll put them back in a bag. Not a vintage button, but still. A bag. Okay, next we have some really pretty sculptural buttons. They have hearts on the back. What, what would that be? Like maybe a half inch, one inch? No, definitely a half inch. Rhinestones, there are two of them. I'm shocked these aren't marked because whoever the designer was took the time to emboss the back of them with hearts, which is really cool, but they're not marked. I like them. We are saving them in the bag. Next, we have little hoops. Like a milk glass fob thing happening? I don't know. They're very distressed. I think these are gonna go in the box. These look like sterling again, but are they marked? I really think these are sterling. They have a Southwest thing happening. That that could be real turquoise in there. That has that, that look to it. Um, there's dangling feathers. There's two of them. They look like handmade Southwest jewelry. So those might be sold separately. I won't put that if I don't know it, but I will do a little bit of investigation. The turquoise is really pretty and very well matched. Okay. Do we have any other matches? We have one little, oh, we have two of these. Little paisley thing happening. This one's bent, so I'm gonna put this in the box. It looks like a little paisley in pink and black. Okay, 
right, we don't have a match for this one. Oh no, they're matched. They're connected and it is marked 925 and something else, tie. Little dangles. A lot of sterling in this one. These are pretty too. Again, they're stuck together. 925. Sterling silver. Love these. I don't know, they have a triangular shape, but they're like a cushion triangle maybe? Is that what that's called? Like it's, it's not a perfectly angular triangle. It, it has a little bit of a rounded corner to it. They're very light yellow with a gold tone, uh, silver. Love that. Bet you these are silver too. No markings that I see. They look like little crowns when you put them on the side and they have um, a rhinestone in the center. A lot, a lot of these have been put together where did that one go? There we go. Uh, this one is marked Chile. Chile? China. <laughs> 925. And there's two of them. Clear run stands. And Sterling? This one is another like Southwest inspired or Southwest. These are marked 925. Nice bold marking. Really pretty pattern. Then we have a few little bits and bobs. This is a little rhinestone ball. Just one of them though. A few backings that we'll put in the lot. This looks like it could also be Michael Kors. I think this is a ring, I think. Not marked, not marked. I'm gonna say this is like a six and a half or so. Let's, let's give you a Oh, a five. This is a tiny ring. It does have an opening, though. It's not really going to adjust. I'm shocked this isn't marked. It has an X thing happening. Could be a midi ring. I like it. It reminds me of Star Wars. I don't know why. I'm going to save this. I like it. Okay, so the only thing I'm saving <laughs> out of the bag is that one bobble bar earring. I'll throw it in the box. Okay, so let's recap all of the earrings, a lot of which were sterling. Love that. I've got feathers going everywhere. Um, the Natasha, I'm going to say $10 profit, maybe 15, maybe 10. This is just so cool and it's so heavy. <laughs> maybe $10 profit. Play hooky, Kate Spade. The three magnetic eyeball hematite. Don't quote me on that. The Kate Spade watch. The sculptural leopard spot thing, I like a lot. That could be somebody's signature piece. Okay, this I am going to toss in the box. This is cool. Somebody made this. I'm gonna keep that. That's too cool not to keep. The cat brooch, which I will just be sending to somebody. The bug brooch, which I will be selling. The floral hair tie thing, which I love. I don't know about this one. Because they're freshwater pearls, did this have a marking? It has a little plate where it should be marked, but it's not marked. So sometimes companies make these, and like a factory will make them and then try to sell them to a company and that company will then stamp it with something, but it's not stamped. I think I'm gonna put it in the box. I like it, but not like love it. I don't have an attachment to it. This very nicely made braided and beaded wrap thing. The cross, I guess, pendant. Then we have a few brass bangles. A few things for my niece. The, the two little bracelets, nope. Two necklaces and four bracelets. 
Okay, the ring I'm going to toss in the box. This just had such a nice feel and it has a pink tiara. I might look that up here soon. The sterling silver, this. Is that it? Nope, two more pieces. The sterling money bag charm. The sterling cross. My paper. Uh, the earrings for my mom, possibly. This from my mom to check. I think it just has a V on it. I'm not going to know what that means. A sterling silver earring. And let's quickly look up what jewelry has a pink tiara stamp. I feel like that's something. I feel like I should know what that is. Um, pink tiara jewelry stamp. Maybe marking? Let's go to images. It's like hot pink. Mm, nope. Let's try jewelry marking. Could be a crown maybe and not a tiara like a hot pink it's just bringing bring up pink tiaras there's a queen i don't know it feels really nice that's the only reason i am going to investigate that further but i think overall i did really well with that box i'm very happy with that okay on to box two, but after I eat and go to the bathroom and take meds and lay down. Bye. I am back and I am feeling more like a human than I used to. <laughs> My body's not hurting so much. I got food. I had some blueberries. I'm back to trying some blueberries and seeing how we do with those and ramen. I brushed my teeth. I feel so much better. Took some medication. My mom is coming back from the island the bridge is up and there's quite a bit of traffic, which I hadn't even thought about. We don't live very far from Anna Maria, which is the island I'm talking about, but it does get crowded on the weekends. And I guess since it's Friday, it's a weekend. I'm going to go to the next box. I'm still, I'm still loving that first box. I wish I could just buy all of the thread up boxes. But of course, can't do that. Oh, I, I see some more fringed earrings from my mom. We still do have plans on going over to the open house at my friend's house. She wanted to know if I needed anything to eat or just anything along the way, which I don't. I have seen this before. White House Black Market. I don't think it was this colorway. This is really pretty, obviously. It's like shades of really pale pinks and purples and like a milky white with rhinestones. Gorgeous, stunning, stunning. I will take this all day long and probably price it, I'm gonna say it like $12.99 or so. That's a yes. I also brought some bags so we could organize things. little group of stretch bracelets with a tiny little tassel. Hi little tassel, welcome to the world. You are going in the junk box. Oh, these are those like magazine paper beads that start out as a long triangle and then are usually sold um, from fair, fair trade, fair, what is it when people are paid a living wage? I forget, you know what I mean. This one does have some stretch left. It's blue. I like it. I'll be putting it aside if I come across a whole bunch more. I might lock them up. But if not, it'll probably go into the junk pile. Whoa, look how fun these are. This remind me of exotic fish. Earrings. I wonder if my mom would want those. Set those aside. Oh, there's my mom. Yay. Okay. 
Many hours have passed. My mom and I have cracked up. I have showed her all of the jewelry. We talked about the post office. We talked about everything. It is now, I think like five o'clock. It's 4.11, <laughs> running an hour ahead. So here's what I have. I had a White House black market bracelet, I think, but I showed it to my mom. The next piece, oh, are two pieces. This is an earring. This is very lightweight, it's plastic. It's pretty, but it's, it's definitely plastic. So into the box it goes. Gold tone, this is marked Tasha. It has some wear, some rub wear. I like the style, but into the box it goes. See if anything is good. I thought this was a keychain at first. It's definitely not. It's a bracelet. I don't know if I've ever seen a bracelet like this. It has faux leather and snaps at the back. But then the front has one, two, three, four, five strands. I like it. I'm not in love with it, and it has a little bit of discoloration. So we'll put it in the box. Next is made in Hong Kong. It's very plasticky feeling, so it might be plastic. But brooches always do okay, even in lots, so I'll keep that out. This beaded bracelet, I don't know if I ever explained that, it's made out of magazines, so I'm going to put that in the box as well. Oh, another faux leather piece. Though this one might be real leather. I think it's Sea Wonder. It has that fancy C. I'm pretty sure it is. Is it a it is um, a choker. This is actually a pretty nice piece. The leather feels like real pebble leather. I'm not sure. That's a maybe. It's a maybe. We have another brooch. It is a giraffe. I like it a lot. It's a gold tone. It feels vintage. We just lost something. We have a necklace and a necklace. My mom ran to Goodwill to get some footage. Oh, and an earring. So she'll be gone probably about an hour, so I figured I'd finish up filming. This has no markings. It's a costume piece. The black cord is in good shape. It's in pretty good shape overall. But because now I'm trying to get at least $10 per piece, I am going to pass. Oh, another brooch. This one <laughs> is a polo player on a horse. It's very detailed. It has a little bit of a scratch. I think it completely goes. It's a little bit of a scratch. I don't know if that's going to bother it. It's very detailed. It's very specific. I'll keep it. Okay, this looks like a bright new piece. Let's see. This is, oh, it's not Brighton. I thought all Brighton used this exact clasp with a heart. No, it is Lily Rachel. Has a sliding pewter or silver tone, maybe pewter, I'm gonna guess. A little puffed heart and some um, fake pearls or real pearls. I'm gonna say real pearls, like a freshwater pearl. I don't recognize this brand though, so let's look it up. Lily Rachel necklace. Maybe it's like a little girl's brand because it's a fairly small. Oh, here it is. Is this the exact necklace? Oh, maybe they only make this exact necklace. <laughs> Let's see how much they sell for. Like all of the necklaces are this exact necklace. Sold. $63, could that be? 
This looks like the exact necklace. They're saying it's sterling. Huh, interesting. I would not have guessed sterling. I would have guessed pewter. It does have like some discoloration, so maybe there's a marking under that. We're keeping it. Cute little, this doesn't stretch, but um, woven bead bracelet. We will put that into the box. The box is no longer there, so I'm just setting things on the floor, pretending they're going into a box. I think something got caught. Let's see. Yeah, okay, there we are. So this is just a very, very long strand. It's a muted gold. It has some rub wear. The beads are pretty. They're faceted. I like that it's long. I know people specifically look for very long pieces. There's no maker's mark. I'm gonna try it. I think I'm gonna try it. I think this could be even tripled. I like the neutral color palette. I like the muted gold tone beads. We'll try it. Can I say that a few more times? This is, who are you? Looks like an Alex and Ani, but it, I don't think it is. Angelica, Angelica, Imperial, St. Thomas? I don't know. Oh, St. Thomas, huh, it says it right there. So I'm guessing this is um, kind of an Alex and Ani style bracelet, but maybe it was sold at like a boutique in St. Thomas or something like that. Enough people like St. Thomas that I think the color is very pretty and it appears to be in really good shape. So we'll try that. Okay. Next we have this. No markings. It has a little bit of a, nope, it just came out. Never mind. I was going to say tangle. It's very much costume jewelry in real life. Let's take out some of these bigger, because look how fun this one is. I think these are wood, like heavy wood. The color scheme is very interesting. I think I'm gonna keep it because of the colors. You could also easily paint these wood beads. So if you had a specific like rainbow or pastel palette, I think you could easily redo this. So I like that. We like that, that's a yes. Next we have something on the floor. We have a strand of, I'm guessing this is real coral. It appears to be vintage by the clasp. It's got a twist clasp. This is either really good fake coral or real coral. I know not all coral can be sold and not all coral is valuable, but I'm going to research this one. Um, Let's just look up coral necklace to see. Something in my head says maybe. Coral necklace, filter, sold. Branch coral, I think that's what this kind is. Yeah, so this one looks exactly like mine. Mine actually has a little bit more holes than that one does. Here's another one. Seattle branch coral. It's very specific. Are you from Seattle? No, mine, mine is not from Seattle, I'm gonna say. Yeah, I think this is a yes. I think I should be able to get 15 to $20 for this kind of coral. Another costume piece, no markings, some rub wear. It's pretty. Very sparkly. We're gonna pass on that. I think somebody could reuse the beads. This is a very interesting linked. Who makes you? 
bracelet. It's a bracelet. Stainless steel. Okay. I wonder if my brother-in-law wants a bracelet. It has a Greek key print to it. It's a matte black. Should be able to see the Greek key, but it does. Say stainless steel. I'm gonna look up black stainless steel bracelet. See what comes up. I'm not gonna look up everything. I promise. Stainless, stainless steel bracelet. Let's see. Sold. Has a nice hand feel. Oh, that's my husband. We'll finish looking this up and then see what he wants. Here's a similar one for $9.99 from China. I'm gonna pass. It's cool. Eh, it's not that cool. Okay, we have an Ann Taylor Loft, I believe. Yes, it's a sweet little necklace. Normally I would pass on this, but the dangles on the back have a little um, puffed heart, no, star, star. And there's a matte, I don't know if you're gonna be able to see it, gold moon, and then a little extra pave charm. The moon face is very sweet. So that's gonna be a yes. Next is a gold piece. It has no clasp, so it's just pulled over your head. And it is an origami swan. <laughs> I like this, but it has some wear. Oh, I like it a lot though. Oh, it's so cute. Mm. Okay, it's gonna be a no. Can't keep everything that's cute. This stretch bracelet has some really pretty colors. The aqua is really pretty and very kind of luxury beach, but the stretch is stretched out. We have another pin. Oh, maybe this is a zebra. These are zebras, not giraffe. That's just literally the identical pin. Leaves of Three leaves of three. Is that a band? Is that a Bible reference? It's a little bracelet. It's very tiny. What's leaves of three? Leaves of three, let it be. Is that like a poison ivy reference? Because if so, my sister is getting this. She is in landscaping and gets poison ivy like nobody, nobody I've ever seen. Leaves of three. Okay. Leaves of three, let them be. What is the saying leaves of three? Poison ivy. Seriously, this, this random thread up bracelet? Oh my goodness, this is totally gone my sister. That is hysterical. She's gonna get a kick out of that. She can throw it out. She can do whatever she wants. That's hysterical. She'll get it. It's like an inside joke, but on a bracelet that I got in a thread up box. I didn't even pay for it, like retail for it. This is a costume piece, pretty. It's faux opal with some like iridescent flex, some unicorn flex. I am going to pass. This is another brooch. This one is stunning. I wonder if somebody collected brooches. I don't even know what kind of bird this is. It's a very iridescent enamel. It's like pastel, let's see. Where'd my paper go? I think the paper makes it worse, but. Oh, kind of, you can kind of see it. I love him, keeping him. Another seed bead bracelet. I'm gonna pass on this one. It's in really good shape though, shades of brown. Just a little stretch brown bracelet. This one is marked Accents by Hallmark. Oh, okay. It is a tube, like a square tube. 
Oh, that's way too. I am um, accents by Hallmark. I wonder if it's a charm bracelet. Accents by Hallmark bracelet. I'm just going to look at images on Google. Oh, here is one. Okay, Etsy has it. Etsy has gold, so let's go visit Etsy. What do you got, Etsy? $5,000. Clearly, that didn't translate. Etsy just brought up the most expensive bangle they have. <laughs> I think I'm going to pass on this. It's not worth $5,000. It doesn't feel like... It feels a little... It's not meeting up or something. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> Unexpected. This is Sea Wonder or Charming Charlie's. I always forget. It's a sea with a rhinestone. It's kind of cool though. It's this very long kind of bullet-like, I don't know how to, cylindrical maybe. And then it's embroidery floss. But this part is like a bouncy material, like a cloth. I think I'm gonna pass, but Cool. Little half moon, hammered half moon bib. I'm gonna pass on that. Is this that same Himmel, Himmelite? I've now pronounced that wrong 42 times. Meh. Orange and blue. I like the shapes. It's very pretty shapes. But that's all I've got going for it. Next. Oh, there's another pin that fell out. Oh, okay. I like this one a lot. 1928. I think that's Macy's. I want to say my sister and I used to have this brand. It, it's a little bit like, like spider webby. It's shades of orange and copper. I think it's filigree. I think that's what I'm describing. Not spider webby, but like filigree. I think I'm gonna try this. And only because I've done okay with this brand. I might be able to get $10 out of that, believe it or not. Oh, this one's cool too. It has curved pieces of metal that are twisted around faceted copper beads. Catches the light really nicely, but pass. Oh, oh, <laughs> look at this. This is another one of those pins. Somebody collected pins. And I love whoever put this thread up box together. They were like, we're putting all the weird pins together. I appreciate it. Will this go in the back? Yes, it will. Okay. It's the ugliest pink half globe of a head in like a plaid skirt with a hat, but look at the face. Who painted that face? <laughs> I love it so much. <laughs> it's so hideous. <laughs> this would be a really good Mother's Day present, I think. <laughs> Here's a tie clip. <laughs> Swank 60 with the theatrical masks on it. I know none of this. This is all brand new. I've, I've done 4,000 of these boxes and I'm still just always amazed. Like one box could be all Kate Spade and the next is just all funny brooches. Okay, Swank 60, 60, 50, what does this say? Tie clip. Oh yeah, okay, that's definitely the brand. Let's see what they are going for. Somebody's walking their dog. Oh, here's a whole bunch of them that went for $5. Bummer. Pass. Another brooch. Okay, this one's clearly a peacock. Again, with the enamel, like pastel enamel. Maybe it's a roadrunner. It looks like it's running. At least it doesn't have a funny face, which would have made it so much better. Okay. So weird. Here's another one of those bracelets. Okay, now these bracelets just have to be sent to my niece. Oh, they're really big though. 
now we have two of them. So now I have to keep them and save them forever. No, I'll sell them as a lot. This is the best surprise box ever. Whoa. Love the colors. I would have never thought to put these colors together, but they're working. A pair of fringe earrings. Oh, I do wear earrings at the last. I forgot. All of the brooches are throwing me off. Okay. So this is some faux druzy. It's pretty. No markings. We'll put it in the box. It's very lightweight. We have another pin. This one is fairly normal. No markings. It's a, a little bit of a raised or puffed heart silver with a pave pink rhinestone. Some more stretch bracelets. Ooh, I'm not gonna stretch that one too much. Okay, this one has a lot of rub wear and the druzy um, is faux and it has like a loop on the end and it's missing whatever was supposed to be there. So maybe it was a tassel, maybe it was something else. Maybe it was this. I don't think it was this. This looks like my hair in the morning. <laughs> Matt gold with a little bit of rub wear and a brown cord and olive green it seriously looks like hair <laughs> we're going to put that in the box this is a nice shiny gold faux pearls very long length very long length Just making sure all the pearls are there. They're spaced about two inches. I like this. I think I'll keep this one to sell. It's pretty. Next up. Next up is a toggle. Oh, missing rhinestones. It was a toggle necklace. Just want to make sure it doesn't have any marks, but it doesn't feel like real sterling. So um, it's missing a ton of rhinestones. We're going to pass. Oh, another brooch. This one also looks good. I like to make sure they fit and move. Um, it's missing a few rhinestones. Bummer, because it's lips. Cute. We have one of those wave rings that Instagram seems to think I really want. I don't but now I have one. I don't think it's real sterling. It's very discolored. It's just like an ocean ring. If I thought it was sterling, I would absolutely clean this up and pass it along to one of my sea loving friends. Oh, I take that back. I think it's sterling. It is marked. We have a group of friends that comes down every year from Pennsylvania that have five kids. And she brings them down and stays at my other friend's condo. Yeah, this is marked. I don't want to see your ad. Um, and two of the girls just wrote me saying how excited they were to come down. And we always get together with them and buy them ice cream. It is marked. I can't really see the marking, but I'm guessing it's at least sterling. So we'll keep that. Another one of those stretchy, but not very stretchy beads. <laughs> this ring. I kind of love it. It's kind of big. It is a stretch ring. It's kind of cool. I want to keep it. Okay, we're going to keep it for now. Oh, another bird enamel ring. A nut ring brooch. I don't think these are marked. This one appears to have some kind of marking though. I think it's a script G. It's 
fairly tiny. It's like a running light bluebird. It's a buckle leopard print bracelet. Pass, it has a lot of wear. Oh my goodness, oh, another bird. Oh, I love him too. This is marked Spain. Oh, look how good he is. Look at his silly face. <laughs> oh, I love these. I just want to find a, a whole bin of these, a whole bag of these. This is marked. Very tiny um, white rhinestones maybe or something. You really have to zoom out. I don't know why this is not it's all blurry all of a sudden. Oh, okay, it is marked, definitely marked. I don't recognize any of those markings, but definitely marked. Looks like a, a copyright, like a C in a bubble and then an M in a skewed bubble. Is that it? Maybe I'm looking at the wrong side. I think I'm looking at the wrong side. I think it's sterling. Let's see. 52. Is there any other mark? 52. What would 52 mean? What's 52? I should show it to you. It's it's fairly tiny. Um, silver tone, whatever the metal is. And then there are five little white rhinestones or like simulated diamonds or something. Let's see if I Google 52 jewelry marking because that's going so well. 52 jewelry stamp. 52 is the EU ring size. It's a hallmark. Okay. Okay, so I'm guessing it's something. If it's stamped, if it's made in the UK and is stamped with 750, it's 18 karat gold. We'll take it somewhere. It doesn't feel particularly heavy, nor does it feel like, like it's really anything, but it's marked, so we'll take it somewhere. Pokey dotty bangle. Love pokey dotties. But putting it in the box. Ooh, love the color of this. Oh, oh, fun. It's a set of three stretch bracelets. One is a little stretched out, unfortunately. One is like an olive green freshwater pearl, and then the other is this um, rectangular, not rectangular, square bead. But because one is very stretched out, I'll just throw all of them in there. This looks very nice. This doesn't seem to have any markings. I don't think it's heavy enough to be gold. It has a dent in it, which is actually helping me out because it's a fairly soft metal, whatever it is. I'll save this just in case it might be like a gold over sterling. It's, it's actually really sparkly and pretty in real life. And look at it a little bit later. This is cool. This is a tube bead. It is marked Monet. It's a longer piece, but the beads are really almost like a liquid, I would say. Very pretty. I like it a lot. Keep. Another bangle. I've sold this bangle or had this bangle. It's white with a filigree, like a raised embossed filigree in silver. I'm going to pass. This is a stretch blue, brown, and silver. Pass. Picking up the big ones. Okay, love this just for the style. I like this in and out kind of 3D look. I don't see any markings. It's cool though. 
I'm gonna keep it <laughs> to sell, not keep it. This is costume. In reality, this is not gonna lay as well as one had hoped, I would think. Oh, maybe it will. Let's try it. Nope, nope, let's not try it. Let's try it again. <laughs> My fingers. My fingers are like, we're trying. Nope. <laughs> I don't have enough sensitivity to. Okay, we got it that time. It's kind of cool. I mean, I wouldn't wear it with this shirt, but it's cool enough to put in the box. All right, let's see the bigger pieces, if there are any big pieces. This is very intertwined, this box. Is definitely nothing. It's very worn. This piece though is weighty, which always makes me think of sterling, but it's it's not discolored evenly enough to be sterling. But why did they make that piece so weighty? I don't know. That little droplet feels like something, but I'm gonna put it in the box. This is definitely lightweight, but has a marking. Let's see. 80R or 80R. That's eight other reasons. So this was like a FabFitFun thing too. And it retailed for like $54. But in reality, it's like Forever 21 jewelry. It's a lariat with some layers. Again, a pretty piece. I've sold it so many times, I'm over it. It's not gonna bring more than four or five dollars. Oh, I like this. This looks like kind of a recycled, I think it's missing, it is missing a bead. Um, recycled metal almost, it's very lightweight, like you would cut up aluminum cans and do it. <laughs> Some kind of art, but it's missing. So. this one. This one feels a little bit like rubber. It has the little plate for a stamp, but no stamp. Get off of there. It has a really pretty faux pearl, but it is faux. So we're going to pass on that. I just flung an earring. Nevertheless, she persisted. It is a stamped piece of metal. The necklace is also pretty. The chain, the chain is pretty. I don't see any markings. I like this. I think I'm gonna keep this. I think this would um, mean something to somebody. So even if I do sell this for a little bit less than I had hoped to get, I think somebody would appreciate that. Whoa. This is a pocket watch. I don't know if it's a reproduction, I'm guessing it is. It's got a giant brown crystal stone. It's like a, a movie set piece. Like this would change everything. You'd find it at a yard sale and you'd open it up and time would stop if you could open it up. I can't. The gold is slightly discolored. I don't think it's real gold by any means. Does it open? <laughs> How do you open a pocket watch? That's so funny. It's got a hinge. It's got to open. There's only so many ways. Maybe you press it. It feels like a poly pocket at this point. That would be so cool if there's a poly pocket inside. I have no idea how to do this. I'm going to have to ask my mom how to do this. Okay, you could turn it. You could put... Come out. Maybe you have to put it down. Maybe it's like a puzzle. You know those puzzles on YouTube that are like 10,000? Ah, I got it. Oh. 
I don't know what this means, but the metal is flaking off the inside slightly. So that's either good or bad. <laughs> and it also has some like metal discoloration. I think it's cool enough to try it. It's a cool piece. I have to bend the other way. Love this color. This is bobble bar. Bobble bar I do okay with. Though I have one piece of bobble bar that has rhinestones and it has all of the rhinestones and it's, oh, that's bobble bar, this isn't. It's been on there for a while and I think I have it down to $6.99. This clasp is missing part of it. You could still do it, but it's missing like the spring back. I don't think it's anything like all that amazing. I mean, it's pretty. It's totally see it with like a prom dress if there was ever a prom again, but it's missing the clasp part. Again, still workable. Okay, so this is bobble bar. It's very lightweight. Bobble bar is pricey. It's silver tone. It's a shorter necklace with a chain extender and it has like floating little mirrored crystals. Not mirrors, probably just crystals. That's a keep. Just cause it's bottle bar. Oh, I love this. Who makes you? I know who makes you. Who makes you? <laughs> this is House of Harlow is that marking. This is a slide. Yeah, both pieces are, are marked. House of Harlow does okay. This is one of their um, more recognizable pieces I would say this little this little cutout with the it's almost a purpley blue like a royal purple blue leather behind it and it slides I like this a lot that's a definite yes oh pretty another ring this one's adjustable it feels like you could get it at a flea market it's a faux brass butterfly love that it's a butterfly with rhinestones Again, this will be a fun piece for me to list. It might not bring too much of anything, but it'll brighten my day to list it. It's a keeper. This is gold filled sterling silver brass. They circled all of those. Handmade by Amy in Nashville, Tennessee by a woman who has overcome extraordinary circumstances. Oh my goodness, I love these. Oh, I wonder if my mom wants these. She was just remarking that, remarking? She was just saying, remarking, <laughs> I remark um, that she, oh, $38, uh, wears tassel earrings and she's known for tassel earrings, but she kind of wants to try something else. This might be a nice bridge. It's recycled brass and it has a nice story. So we will put these by my sister's bracelet that is just cracking me up. So I love it so much. Okay. All things new another pair of like fringy earrings that aren't all fringe I'll offer these to my mom too my mom already bought two pieces she insists on buying them like I'm not surrounded by a gazillion pa pairs of earrings I would never know if she took 40 pairs but she's my mom they're really pretty gold uh, they have Facebook group and Instagram all things new creations pretty we'll set those up there I need to find the bigger pieces. Oh, oh, <laughs> it's a pin that says sexy. <laughs> Who is this pin collector? I mean, this is fine by itself, but they also collected this pin and all of the other pins. That's hysterical. I love this. I know exactly who I'm sending this to. Love it. Okay get this ring. This also has a Greek key print. Does it go with the titanium? It's a size seven. It's very clearly marked a seven. Let's check it. See, I would say that's less than a seven. This is, this is a six and a half. But it has no other markings. It's got faux diamonds that are clearly faux. Yeah, the, this is more of a six and a half, I think, guys. It's very lightweight. It has like a swirl thing happening. I don't hate it. 
It's kind of cool. Also, I need to clean my hands. I am having such a good time. You couldn't tell. And now I get to show my mom all this stuff. Okay, some more rings. Oh, pretty. This one feels like sterling. Are you marked? You might not be marked. This is really pretty filigree silver. The silver does have some discoloration that is like peeking through brass. So I take back my this feels like sterling. It, it does have some heft to it. It's really pretty. I, uh, it's so pretty. The purple color. Let's see if I can get it off my finger so you can see it. Um, it's not a tanzanite color. It's more of a violet but it does have a little bit of that bluey purple. It's really sparkly. Let's see what my mom thinks. Here is, oh, this is something. It says, I came to you, brothers. I did not come with, then it cuts off, or, oh, it's, I think it's a Bible verse. Wisdom declaring unto you the testimony of God. Oh, okay, so does it have a marking? It's a very large size. This is probably like a 10 at least, I would think. This is a 13. It's silver, it just looks like a plain silver band, but then in the right light, it has words on it. I don't see see any markings whatsoever. I'll look it up. Since it has a Bible verse, I should be able to Google what I can read and the rest of the Bible verse will come up. Well, here's another Greek key ring. This one says a size eight, doubting that. Uh, why all the Greek key rings, I wonder? Greek key is like that pattern that is angular and square. <laughs> a little moth just flew by. It's missing a rhinestone. I'll put you over there. Any more rings? Oh, another ring. This one doesn't. Oh, this one has markings. <laughs> this one says 925 L A T H. So sterling. It's, I'm going to say, like, oh, this might even be like an 8 or a 9. It has two layers that have a bar connecting. Let's see what size you are. You are almost a nine. Let's say like eight and three quarter. Let's see another ring. This was the ring bag. This one has a lot of distressing. It's a really pretty stone, though I'm sure it's fake. Um, it looks like a pink opal almost. It has a lot of glow to it. It's really pretty. It's a shame the rose gold has chipped off. If, if somebody would paint over that or like refinish it, it would be really pretty. It has a lot of glow and sparkle in person. It's so pretty. It's a shame. Okay, we're moving on. I'm gonna take some of these earrings out. I think these are supposed to be connected. I'm not sure. They're not marked, so this is just a blue hoop. Ah, this one is missing the post. So these are gonna get put in the box. The blue ones I'll save for now. Let's see, anything else besides earrings? Oh, we have another kilt man. He doesn't have a face. His face has chipped away, but he is the same kilt man as the other one without the goofy face. Somebody should paint a goofy face on him. You will go over here with your fellow friend. Earring, earring, earring. I think we are at the earring stage. Nope. Here's another bar necklace. I'm sure it has some kind of inspirational something on it. This one says Jook and Nona. Does it say happy? It says inspire. So I will put this in with my um, nieces. The other one said happy. So I think some of them say dream too. I dropped something. Okay, let's see. Let's pick out some matching earrings. These are a bendable earring. It, it's 
a bendy desk. It's like silicone maybe. I have two of them. Where did I put the bag? I think I put the other bag back in my room. Okay, so then the blue earrings. Then we have green Druzy earrings from Alicia's Jewelry Boutique. Put some of those back. We have these earrings. A lot of these I'll lot up. <laughs> An earring in my cup. And an earring over here. Okay. We have some, these might be real silver. They're marked TS. Earrings, TS. They're a, a style of hoop. TS earring, hoop, maybe just TS earring. Hmm. Okay, that means nothing to anybody. Let's filter this by sold. Hmm. I'm gonna add hoop. Mexico TS earring. Okay, so let's see this TS marking to see if it looks like my TS marking. Okay, there's definitely says TS and then a number. Do mine have a number? TS. I don't see a number, but these really could be sterling. They have a very sterling look. How about that for grammar? I don't know. We'll look at them later. They do have TS. Here is... Let's go for the bigger earrings. I'll take off these. These are cool. These are really good. Running low on battery. It's okay. We're almost done. They have some distressing, unfortunately, because they are really cool. They're like a rose gold that shape, and then the back of them are shiny. So they have a matte and a shiny. So we'll put those in the box. We have, I guess like a brick red embroidery thing with some dangles in a teardrop. We'll put those in the earring bag. We have, oh, these are marked, silver plate. Do we have another silver plate? Yes, we do. We have two silver plate. They are like a, maybe a Celtic cross or a cross of some kind. They will go in there. We have, ah, this was the missing piece of that Druzy necklace. So we'll put that in the box. We have really light weight. Do we have two of these? I think we only have one of these. Are you the other one? No, we have two of these. They have rhinestones on them. They're cool. There are little tiny discs in a blue and red paisley with a little rhinestone at the front. I deem cool. I see these hoops. Are they rhinestones? Oh, on both the inside and outside. Hmm. I don't see any markings. These things are always marked in such a weird spot sometimes. Sometimes always. Tiny little hoops, but when you wear them, there's rhinestones on the inside and outside. So they're, you know, at least well made enough to do that. I would say. We have some vintage starfish earrings. I love these with rhinestones. I'll probably sell those separately because I love them so much. Oh, we have another vintage kilt man. We have three kilt men. <laughs> Only one has a face. One has a smeared face. Okay. So funny. These are really minimalistic. Yes, these are Banana Republic, it looks like, and 925. So they're more minimalistic 
hoop, I would say, but real silver. So we might sell those separately. Then we have, oh, I love these too. A sideways square with a hexagon. And the hexagon's fairly big. Uh, rhinestone. So let's do one of them. Yeah, very cool. Like those a lot. They have very little rub wear. And I like that the rhinestone is recessed. Okay. We two of you. Yes, we do. Ooh. It's like a hydro dipping thing here. Again, this feels like it could be sterling. These aren't marked though, so I'm gonna go no, but you're getting dizzy. Okay, not too many left. Oh, I found this. I think that went to something. We have one of these earrings. I thought I had a second earring. So that's somewhere. I don't think so. It's a shame because that's pretty. We'll put that in the pile. We have a very long only one very long earring. But again, not marked and only one. We have a gunmetal matching pair with some really tiny rhinestones. Nothing spectacular, but a really nice solid career pair, everyday pair. We have these, which have some turquoise and periwinkle rhinestones. Don't think they're marked. They feel like costume jewelry, but pretty costume jewelry. So this will go in the earring bag. We have, oh, a peacock, but only one. <laughs> I liked him. Only one peacock, maybe it can be turned into something else. Very pale pink muted gunmetal hair with some rhinestones. Lock those up with a whole bunch of others. Kind of a smoky blue and light blue gunmetal pair. These are some dangles. We have some tiny, tiny studs. They look like recycled brass. I like them a lot. They might be nothing. The rhinestones are so well done. Why aren't you marked? They have a little bit of wear to them. Did I say that? They're tiny. They'll go in the bag, because there's a pair. Give them a shot. Then we have a whole bunch of earrings that have no pairs. Oh, a piece of coral. Oh, are you a pair? You are a pair. You win. Tiny little faux pearls and clear dangles. Oh, I think I just dropped one of these. This matched the necklace. It's like that little teardrop ball thing. There was a second one, but it's not worth picking out. Two more pairs. Not marked, but nice. There's two of them. Uh, like a almost black, black metal, I would say, and rhinestones. And the very last pair or like a half hoop climbing bar with rhinestones. I've never seen anything like these. Let's see if I can do half. Okay, so it's like a, a weird C shape. And then there's two like intertwining with rhinestones. I don't know. We'll throw them in the bag. Is that everything? I think that's everything. Put these junks. Did not jump really, 
there was a good many pieces that weren't broken, but just had a few issues or just were a little bit too costume for me to list separately at this point since I have so much jewelry. Would have had more thread up if you would have just let me buy the boxes I bought. But that's okay. I understand we all make mistakes. Okay, so here are the earrings. I'm saving all of the pins because I loved all of them, even the sexy one, especially the lot of three men without faces and the two zebras <laughs> and the 47 birds. Yeah, I got some, oh, here's just a random earring. You're gonna go in the junk thing. I got some fairly decent items. That'll, it'll be fun to show my mom. I don't know about this. It's cool. It just has a little bit of wear. Do I care that it has a little bit of wear? Can you overcome that? I don't know if you can. Yeah, this is like Sea Wonder. I, I don't know that Sea Wonder or Charlie, Char, Charming Charlie. I think it's Sea Wonder though. We'll see. We'll see. Okay, this has got a... This has got to go in the junk thing. I cannot keep that. A few sterling silver pieces. The um, House of Harlow sometimes does okay. What are you? Bobble bar. The really long piece. I think this was not marked, but I will check into that. Some, some rings, including this huge piece that has distress but I love it. The 1928 kind of spider web wear on Halloween piece. The faux pearls. The piece that nevertheless she persists. The metal is a little sharp. Why did I do that on my face? I don't I don't know about that. My husband could sand it off but <laughs> This, which looks like it belongs in some kind of Harry Potter thing. The two, these just feel cool. These feel nice. Um, the Ann Taylor Loft Moon necklace. And I think that's it. So those were the pieces. Oh, and the butterfly ring. Again, a very weird thing. Nothing like anything I've ever opened. I'm gonna probably look at this whole bunch and determine it's probably not real and then throw it in the pawn shop bag to have them check it and have them tell me it's not real. But you never know, never know. Okay, I think that's everything. Thank you so much for sticking with me. I hope you had a fun time, even a small amount of the fun I had because I had a lot of fun. Bye. We hope your day is blooming with joy.